Oh, okay. Hi, how's it been? How are you? Welcome back. So, you're precariously balanced. Oh no, don't fall over. Don't fall. Don't jump, it's not worth it. I have to talk about food today. <clears throat> That's the MO. That's what we're talking about. Um, oh my gosh, I have eaten my way through Uruguay and Paraguay. Um, <clears throat> and I don't have a lot of videos <laughs> of the food I ate because, you know, there for work, busy, busy. Um, <clears throat> but I did take a lot of pictures of food, really through all of South America. I've taken a lot of photos of food. Uh, my camera roll is mostly food photos and work photos. That's pretty much most of my camera roll at this point. So I got a list. I made a list. Uh, everything I have eaten, and I've eaten a lot through Paraguay and Uruguay. I have some favorite restaurants, some favorite foods. We'll get there. Hold on to your horses. Okay, let's see. First of all, crazy few weeks of eating. Um, I've had just tons of food. I've definitely put on some weight. Um, I want to start with Asuncion, Paraguay. I'm not saying that right, I know. You can leave a comment telling me, but uh, I've, I'm terrible at it. Uh, it's like almost French. It's Asuncion, Asuncion, Asuncion <clears throat> in Paraguay. Never been to Paraguay. Great first time there. Um, had a lovely time. I actually went a few days ahead of all of my coworkers, had some food, then went to Uruguay, and then went back to Paraguay. So by the time I got back, I was like, ah, oh, here are the restaurants we're going to check out. And there were some good ones. Uh, first, we gotta start with La Cabrera, which is in, like an, an outdoor kind of mall vibe. So the hotel we stayed at had like this giant mall complex just a couple blocks down, and they had like this big outdoor garden area with seating and tons of restaurants. Um, just about anything you could want. There was even TGI Fridays there, but there was sushi, there was a million options. Um, La Cabrera was like a steakhouse kind of vibe, um, which is super common in South America. Uh, and it was super great. Uh, I ended up going there, I think, twice total um, during my time in Paraguay because <laughs> how could you not? This was what I got the first time around. This is a giant steak kebab. Uh, it's huge. I, I couldn't tell you exactly what kind of meat it was, but it was giant. Um, and there were like peppers and onions. It was just, ah, it was beautiful. It was beautifully seasoned with like nothing but salt and butter, and it was to die for. They served it with all these little like dips and things that you could you could like dip your steak in or you could like schmear you could, you could put it on you know um and i tried a couple of them but like there really was nothing that needed to be done to this meat it was stunning it was beautiful um so that was great they also oh i have to say both times i was there they brought up a, uh brought out a lollipop tree for dessert so they just set this tree on the table and you could take a bunch of lollipops which was i thought super cute uh definitely delicious <clears throat> My second dinner there at La Cabrera, um, it was like a, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, it was like a, like a mushroom cheese cream covered steak deal. Here's a photo. This is what it was. It was also delicious. Um, and it was like, they were trying to explain to me that it wasn't like, a, it wasn't cream. It was like, like a olive oil with like a mushroom sauce. There was no cream in it. It was like. I don't, I don't know how you describe it, but it was very, very, very good. Um, I also had to splurge on some appetizers. So we did the beef tartare. Uh, super awesome. I love a beef tartare. Uh, you know, not something I ever thought I would like, but I actually had it in the States, mm, like, just before the pandemic, I think. And it turned out, I love a good beef tartare. So had to get some beef tartare. Uh, and of course, we had bottles of wine for the table because I was there with, like, six or seven people. And we just drank and ate and left so full and happy. Uh, it was awesome. La Cabrera, 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend, would definitely go back. Very solid. Bastardo! Bastardo! <laughs> this was a hoot and a half. This is an Ascension. Um, it's just the opposite direction from my hotel as the mall was. So like, uh, I'll put it up on Google Maps. Here it is. This is where it is. Um, it's called Bastardo. It is like a street party meets a taco joint. It was super cool we actually got there early we got there at like eight o'clock or 7 30 they're like we don't open till eight or it was a hot minute but they brought us some drinks and we sat down and it uh started out like nobody there but they cook outside they have like a little restaurant area and they cook all the stuff is cooked outdoors on this grill and it's like known for tacos it's a great taco place and they were killer tacos um 
Bastardo. It was really good. And actually by like uh, 9.30 maybe or so, it turned into like a block party. Everybody was there. Nobody could get a table. There were families there. There was music playing. You were like on the street eating. Um, and it was super, super good. Uh, I would definitely, definitely go back uh, to Bastardo just to have some nice tacos. I mean, and they were pretty solid. And you had all your typical taco options, uh, but they were just, they were just perfect tacos. They were just delicious. Bastardo was delightful. Uh, then, okay, next night, I knew I needed to do something other than La Cabrera because I've been doing a lot of La Cabrera while I was in Ascension. So I went to Maurice by Talleyrand, um, which is in the same area as La Cabrera. Actually, I'll put up the place. Here it is. This is the mall that we went to that had all these restaurants. Um, <clears throat> Maurice de Tellyard, super good. Uh, what notes do I have about Maurice de Tellyard? Um, oh, I did the double feature there. So I did, it was like a small bacon wrapped steak and one had like a, it's like a green, like a salsa verde on it. Um, but it wasn't, it didn't, wasn't like a, not like the salsa you dip chips in. It was like a thicker salsa. Um, and you, so it was like two little steaks and they were both very good. They were both very, very solid. Um, the scalloped potato that came with it was okay. It was like, it felt, it was a bit presentational and it didn't have a lot of like flavor or texture. It was just like slices of potato that were a little too al dente for me. So it was okay, but the steak itself was killer. Uh, I won't complain about the steak itself. Um, I would say probably if I were going to pick between the two, between La Cabrera and Maurice by Tellyard, I would pick La Cabrera again and again and again. What's next? Oh, oh, okay. Listen, I know this is a chain restaurant. Uh, sorry. I did. I went to a chain restaurant. I went to Sushi Pop for lunch the next day because I needed something light. I needed something that was not as hefty as a big old steak. So I went to Sushi Pop, definitely had some sushi. And it was cute. It's exactly what you'd expect. It was a chain restaurant. I got an Alaskan roll and a quinoa roll. They were great. No complaints. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, welcome to Montevideo, Uruguay. So Montevideo, I went to a couple different places in Montevideo. Um, I definitely um, ate at the restaurant at the hotel a couple times. Um, we did some street food. We did some um, like burgers from like different vendors, uh, like little food trucks, which was really great. Um, and then one of the other places we went in Montevideo was this little market kind of deal. It's called uh, Mercado Ferrando. Uh, Ferrando? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it's like a little collective marketplace. So there's like a bunch of little restaurants inside. It was really cute. Um, tons of options. You could pretty much go there and get something for everybody. I had a poke bowl. It was delicious. It was, uh, you know, everything I could want it to be. Um, and it was pretty affordable too. I think it was only like $8 for um, the poke bowl and the drink and the ice cream because I did get some gelato before I left. I love me some gelato. Um, so it was super great. Uh, and everyone can kind of choose their own different spot. Um, and, you know, overall, like, it was just a neat food experience. Both Montevideo and Asuncion were really neat food experiences. Um, two places I would not have thought of as, like, a foodie to go to. Um, but they had great food and tons of options. Um, they're, uh, Montevideo's coastal, so there's lots of great options for, um, just all sorts of sushi and things like that. Um, I did, my first night in Montevideo, go to... I didn't write down the name of this place. I can check. Hang on. I can check. I checked in there. I'm sure of it. We went to this place in Montevideo called... Do, 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 do. Here we go. Scrolling through the map of the world. Montevideo. Montevideo. Um, so I went to a couple other places. Here's, here are the other places I went to. I went to Negroni, which was like a cocktail bar. I only had drinks there. It was lovely. Um, we went to Bar Americano. I know, I know. But it was actually great. I had Milanesa there. It wasn't too bad. Um, we went to Garcia Paria, which uh, I actually don't remember. Garcia Paria. It's a sausage place. I don't know if I remember that one. Um, and then we went to uh, Plaza Independencia, Independencia. And we went to La Bacanal. It's a pizza place. It was super good. Um, and I had lamb. I had, uh, the first night I was there, we went to like three restaurants. We went to Magnum, which was a sushi place. We didn't eat there. Um, we just had a drink. And we went to um, this restaurant called, again, I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it, um, where I had the lamb. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've just eaten my way through all of Paraguay and Uruguay, y'all. I've just gobbled up everything. 
Anyway, uh, foodie places for sure. I was surprised. I did not anticipate them being so delicious and having so many options and being like really a great culinary location. Um, definitely would visit again. Montevideo, I think I would take, ooh, Montevideo over Sinchion. I think I would, I don't know. I think I would take Montevideo over Sinchion again if I were going to vacation. It is coastal, so like you could go to the beach and stuff. We did drive around the ocean a lot. Um, so that's a plus. I don't know. That's, that's a hard ranking. I don't know if I could rank. I don't know if I could set the two apart. Um, but I didn't make a ton of video content in either city because it was my first time getting kind of back under, uh, back out, uh, you know, internationally <clears throat> working and kind of getting back in the rhythm. So I didn't want to make a video to talk about all the food because I didn't have a lot of, like I didn't make a lot of videos elsewhere. Um, super good food, super great place to visit. Uh, I, I would say, um, Compared to the rest of South America, well, that's that's for another video. We'll talk about other places in South America and their food here soon. But yeah, Montevideo was great. Asuncion was great. Um, the food was was killer. The markets were great. Um, you know, I I would definitely go back just for some of the steak. It was really great. So I won't complain there. Um, if you are up for some more adventures in South America, uh, I have lots more videos uh, that I'll be posting about both South America. I have videos about Europe, the States. All sorts of stuff so um, you know if you're new here just hang around hit that subscribe button if you're not new and you're just coming back to me as I'm just not coming back to you after a year and a half of kind of being distant and not posting a lot of content um, welcome back thanks for continuing to watch um, I I think for me I would pick Montevideo over Sinchion but if you've been to either if you, if you have any thoughts I'd be curious leave a comment below um, you know, definitely Carnivore City to be in either either city. You know, a lot of great meats, um, and they cook their steaks so well. So I won't complain. But yeah, I'd be curious just to know what your thoughts are if you're from either place or if you've been to either place or if you want to go. Um, there's my food journey. That's my that's my eat 'em ups for Montevideo and Ascension Paraguay. I'll see y'all real soon. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes today, and. Uh, letting me talk a lot about food because I'm become food obsessed. Uh, I'll see you all real soon. Enjoy. Deuces. <laughs> I don't know how to end these things. I haven't done one in forever. I'm just going to get up and walk out of the shop. How's that? There we go.